Hello and today we're going to be showing you how to land on the aircraft carrier in uh, DCS P-51 or TF-51. We're currently in the TF-51, we've got 30% fuel loaded and we're going a little bit fast. You see there's a lovely seven carriers landed up there. We'll be landing on a stationary um, Russian carrier, which I'm gonna, not going to bother pronouncing its name because I'll incorrectly <laughs> pronounce it. And uh, this one is about 305 meters long. It's a little bit shorter than the uh, the US one, but it's got a ramp at the end which helps with slowing down. The P-51 can easily land on both carriers. There's plenty of room to land on them. It's just uh, getting the uh, getting the timing right and everything. So we're just going to bring out 30 degrees of flaps. Now, if you haven't watched my other landing tutorial, then it's uh, a good idea to go and watch that now because uh, you'll need to know how to three point the P-51 in order to land this and actually you're almost going to be uh, landing it on the tail anyway so what we want to do is bring it in we're going to do a nice flattish approach so we'll be keeping the power on the whole time we got maximum flaps and so the key to landing on the carrier is landing at the right speed at the right place so we want to be touching down just under 100 miles an hour maybe about 90 miles an hour there's two ways of stopping on the carrier. We'll go through both of them. There's what I've named the dodgy geezer technique, which is what we'll do first. And then there's just using normal brakes. So we're just going to bring it down. Just as we get to the deck, we're going to bring up the flaps, touch down, and then we're going to do the dodgy geezer technique, which is where you hold right rudder and you see you skid to a stop there. And then that'll bring us onto the deck nicely. That's what uh, I always advise people to do if they've not got rudder pedals, as trying to brake without rudder pedals is extremely different. So I may, you may have missed it, but I actually brought the flaps up there just before I uh, touched down on the uh, carrier. So there we go. So we'll go on to the second technique, which is the uh, braking technique. So we're just going to take off here off the carrier. You really, it's takeoff's much easier than landing on the carrier. You really don't need to. Uh, to fuss about that as long as you just make sure you don't stall and you don't take off with flaps then you're all good to go okay so we're just going to fly out here and we're going to set up for another go and then we'll be back okay so now we are just on the base and we've just got our flaps out we're going to bring our gear down now and um, we're going to bring flaps down to full 50 degrees all right just got the carrier in front of us and same thing again, we're going to make a relatively low approach to the carrier and we're going to maintain about 110 miles an hour on the way and then just before we touch down we're going to hold the power, we're going to take the power off, glide in, hitch up like we did last time until we three point out or even land on the tail wheel and uh, then we're going to use the brakes this time. Okay, so we're nearly on the deck, we're going to bring the flaps up Okay, so we're going to have to go around. You see we didn't land. Now I'm going to include this go around just because, just to show you, my rule for landing on the carrier is if your tailwheel doesn't touch down before the fourth wire, then it's a good time to go around. Because otherwise you won't have enough room to stop. And it's always better to land high than it is to uh, get low. Because if you land low, then you might hit your tailwheel on the end of the deck, which will cause you to explode. If you land high, then you just go around and then you can give it another shot. Okay, so we just kept our, kept our gear out, no point retracting it, we're just in downwind. And you just you notice when I, uh, I got the flaps up straight away, because that'll be a lethal thing. If you get stuck with the flaps down on the go-around, you'll uh, fall upside down and you can get stuck in that position, you'll just hit the water. But I retract my flaps just before I touch down anyway, because this allows me to get more braking power. So we're just going to come in for another approach. That last approach was a little bit too high, or I had a little bit, little bit too much speed before I came in, so we're just going to keep the power off just now, just so we want to slow down to our approach speed. There we go, just put the power back on. There we go, so we can see the carrier nicely. A little bit high. Alright, there we go, and we're just going to keep the power off, flaps come up. And then we be on the brakes. See, I got the brakes are about 
So you see, you just keep the nose up using the brakes and that allows you to come to a stop. Now the thing is, make sure you are uh, you're careful you don't nose over but and also you keep your stick all the way back because this allows you to get more braking power to stop you from nosing over like that. Okay, so that's how you uh, land on the aircraft carrier. I hope that helps you in your endeavours to land on uh, the aircraft carrier in DCS world.